So here at the Cleveland Ambulance Station we service the Greater Redland Bay area, everywhere from Victoria Point to Redland Bay to Wellington Point, out to Stradbroke Island and the Bay Islands as well. Uh, we've got a pretty constant caseload here as well and being close to the Redlands Hospital just down the road we uh, frequently visit that hospital and do transfers in and out of that hospital. So this is our main admin room for the staff. Um, in here they've got pretty much everything that they need to get set up from, for the shift. Um, tough books for their paperwork, um, batteries for the defibrillators as well as another computer for any admin that they need to do. Like approximately 30 staff thereabouts work out of here the station. So this is the main storeroom here at Cleveland. Um, in here is everything that par the paramedics need for their shift, um, both in their kits and in their vehicles, so they can come in here and restock at any point through the day. Um, one of the lovely paramedics, Brett, here at Cleveland looks after all of this for me. He does all my ordering, keeps it all really well stocked and tidy for us. Um, and he's set it up in areas, so we've got trauma up at one end, airway management supplies, and then other operational equipment. Um, we've got plenty of spare bits and pieces here in the cupboards as well. So this is the OIC office, um, basically where I spend most of my time doing any admin that I need to. Um, I've got plenty of storage in here for all the filing, um, and this office is usually locked um, just to keep personal items secure. All right, so this is our multi-purpose room. Um, through different times of the day, it serves a lot of different purposes. So we've got beds in here that fold out from the wall and can be separated into two rooms for two different people. Um, we've got two computers in here. And then once we open it all up into one room, we've got training equipment, training mannequins. And then that's the second bed. So it can be folded out, made up with dunas and pillows and sort of serve as two bedrooms at night. Here at the station we have uh, six acute ambulances and one emergency response vehicle as well. Uh, there are two rosters working out of this station as well currently, one support and one core. Alright, so this is our other plant room. We've got four operational ambulances down here and we've also been able to set up sort of a satellite storeroom to help these ambulances restock when they need to. Um, which saves them from walking all out to their end of the station to get to the main storeroom. So they've basically got everything that they could need down here as well as sink to wash the cars um, and all their supplies. Down the hallway we actually enlisted the help of a local photographer, Rebecca Williams. Um, she came and took some special shots of the Cleveland area for us uh, that she then had put onto ice mounts especially for this area. So we've got three different ones down the hallway that represent the local area. This is our other plant room here at Cleveland. We've got a lovely cleaners area. Both our cleaner and our paramedics make use of this, um, both to clean the ambulances and the station. We've got washing machine and dryer that we can use to wash um, tea towels, bedding, anything we need to for here at station. Um, we also house two ambulances up here normally. There's just one here at the moment, um, as well as some spare equipment up the other side of that ambulance. And also on the other side of the room is the oxygen cage. All right, so this is our kitchen and living area. Um, this is a great area for that guys to come back and have a rest, have their lunch when they get their breaks. Um, they've got everything that they need for your basic home kitchen here in the kitchen, um, as well as food lockers that they are each individually issued so they can store whatever food they like in there um, and plenty of fridge space. Um, across this side, we've also got eight Lazy Boy recliners and a, a couple of bean bags here in front of the TV. Um, a lot of people sleep here on night shift as well as through the day when they get a bit of downtime, so. Uh, I've been here for three years now qualified. I've done two pracs here previously as well. Uh, there's a constant supply of uni students coming and going throughout this, uh, th throughout the station here. It's a very much a learning station as well. 